In today's video, we are going to learn how to save time by automating the process on uploading to multiple Facebook groups at the same time. Do you have to upload a post to multiple Facebook groups at the same time? And are you doing it manually? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Power Automate Desktop 2022 and how to do it using automation. It is going to be super simple. There is going to be no code required and we're just going to do it in less, probably less than 10 steps. Without further ado, let's jump straight away into building our automation and helping us save time. As always, we're going to start from a blank canvas. I have already created a process called Facebook multi-page post, but it's an empty process. We're going to fill it up ourselves. The first thing that we have to do is we have to start from a group of Facebook pages. So what we are going to be doing is we're going to be posting to multiple Facebook groups at the same time. I have a list of all of the Facebook groups that I'm a member of in this Excel sheet. Objective of the process is going to go to each one of these groups and make a post. The first thing would be to read the information on our Excel sheet. So to do that, we're going to look for Excel and we're going to read the information inside of an Excel. We're going to start by launching an Excel, a blank. Uh, we're going to open a document and look for the Excel sheet that we have saved. Once we have inserted our Excel, we're going to save this and we're going to launch our Excel. The next thing is that we have to read the content of our Excel sheet. So to read the content, all we have to do is read from Excel worksheet. There's different ways that we can read from the Excel worksheet. We can read all of the values. We can read a range of values. In this example, we are going to read everything because our Excel sheet is very simple. Our Excel sheet is just one column. So when we say to read everything, it's just going to read everything that is in that one column. We're going to input all values from worksheet. After that, we are going to save our Excel and we are going to close the Excel sheet. Why are we closing the Excel sheet? Because we don't need the Excel sheet anymore. All of the information is going to be stored in the Excel data variable. Let's launch our process and see if this part of the robot works. All right, this is the information that we have extracted, 74 different groups that we're gonna post our post to. All right, what is the next thing that we have to do? Now we have to automate Facebook. We are going to be using browser automation and we're gonna be using Microsoft Chrome. So we're gonna launch Microsoft Chrome, a new instance, and we're gonna just add for the time being a link from uh, one of the groups that we are a member of. For the time being, this is going to be static just while we are recording the steps that we need for our process. Let's launch our process and let's start recording the different actions that we need. As always, we're gonna start with the easiest method. We're gonna use the recorder and start recording the different actions. So what we have to do is we have to click in this and write a post. So let's spy the different elements and let's add them to our recording. So let's hit on the record and spy the innermost element of this button. After that, we are gonna click inside the right something so let's make sure we click on the inner most one and let's delete the other one. And right now for testing, we are going to click on the close button. All right, perfect. That's just three actions. Let's finish this process and let's test it out and see if it works. Now, this is what has been generated for us. Let's move it to the bottom of our process. Well, we could also leave it in the tops <clears throat> This is what has been generated for us. Let's try this process and see if it works. It has opened successfully. It has clicked and has closed the button. Perfect. What we are missing right now is we need to add some text. So to add some text, let's just type and search for text or let's send keys. And this is where we are going to be putting the content of our post. Now let's prepare a post and insert it in here. All right, once we have our post ready, we are ready to test our process. Now there is just one little modification that we're gonna do. We are gonna add some weights. Now why we are adding weights, probably we've seen that everything works so far. However, we wanna make Facebook think that we are not a robot, that we are a human. So we're gonna add two to three seconds of wait between every action. So once we click on the button, once we click inside to paste our text and also 
All right, now that the weights have been inserted, we can test our process again and see if the send keys that we have added is working with this process. Now, this is a great way of working and uh, debugging. There's many different ways that a process can be created. So it's always good to try the easiest way first and then work our way towards a more difficult approach. All right, so far the process has worked successfully. We have managed to insert our text and now the next step would be to spy this button right here, post and push on this button and then go to the next page. We're almost done, this is amazing. We are going really fast. We are gonna be using the recorder once again and we're gonna be spying this post button right here. So let's click on the record button and let's spy on this post button over here. Once that is done, we don't need any other action. That is everything that we need. This is the content that has been created. Let's remove the extra things and let's rename our buttons before we forget uh, so that we have meaningful names for them. So this is post. If we press F2, we can rename it on the fly. So this is post button. This is gonna make it much easier for us once our process starts growing to know exactly where we are clicking. And if we made a little bit of a mess with all extra actions, all we can do is remove unused UI elements. This is going to remove all of the elements that we are not using in our process. Perfect, let's clean up our process a little bit and let's add the final button. We can remove this and now that everything has been created, we should add a loop. A loop is going to allow us to go through all of the different 74 pages that we have inside of our Excel sheet and post to each one of them. Now, we need a special loop for this. We can't just use a normal loop. We have to use a for each loop. So let's add a for each loop in the bottom of our process and let's select a value. The value is going to be the Excel data. So the Excel data that we extract is going to be the value for our for each loop. This means that it's going to circle through all the data inside of our Excel sheet. Let's take all of the different steps and move them inside of our loop. I have moved the wait three seconds here and canceled, erased the last wait. Now this is pretty much everything we should do. The last thing we have to do is change this to a dynamic variable. Now that we have added a for each loop, we also have access to the current item. We're going to select the current item and we're going to try our process. The current item is going to be the current row where the loop that we have inserted is. So the current item first is going to be this, then this, then this, then this, and so on. So the idea is to post on each one of these pages. Let's try our process and see what happens. All right, so far so good. We are on the first link, so we are on the first page. We managed to successfully click on the create post. We've managed to click also on the uh, on the link to, to paste the data. We managed to paste it. We're clicking on the post. Perfect, we managed to post on the first page. Now we're on the second page. And let's see if it's working on this one. It clicked on the first page. Now, one observation with this process is that it should be slowed down a little bit. It's going a little bit too fast. It's going too fast for Facebook. It's going to detect that we are a robot. So, so far we've seen that our automation is working really well. Now, what we have to change is we have to just slow it down. Awesome, perfect. In just a couple of minutes, we have created an automation that can help us really save loads and loads of time of doing something manual and repetitive. If you have enjoyed this video, you know what to do. You know where to find the RPA champion. I have many more videos like this, but most of all, I wanna hear what kind of videos do you wanna see? Write down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.